My name is Samuel Greenhill and I am a photographer in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I plan on staying in Cincinnati, Ohio. There is definitely a very broad um, way and diverse amount of photography I do, but I would say a niche um, is, I like to photograph buildings and let them tell stories about people and uh, Photoshop them and manipulate them in a way that talks about humankind and um, who we are. Having my uh, best friend Joel just come into my life has been something that has vastly shaped me. Where, for the first time, where I very much lived life on autopilot, he was the first person to challenge me and push me a lot of outside my comfort zone and constantly give me a uh, space where I started to think for myself, um, really started to challenge what I was doing and why I was doing it, um, helped me become much more self-aware as we know, being self-aware is so important and um, helping me also unlearn a lot of things that I was grown up with that I took in that was very unhealthy. Growing up as Christian and still being Christian and like being gay is a very um, fun combo. And uh, definitely it causes a lot of unhealthy dynamics to come out. Um, of you desiring to try to come across as the good one, but before you even understand how you function. And also at the same time, like wanting this appeal to be masculine, wanting this appeal from more masculine looking guys to like validify you as a person. Um, and so those were some things that I felt like Joel was able to challenge me on, was these desires to try to be someone for people and, um, and also like in the in the church also trying to like come across as christian as possible you know saying all the churchy answers and all that to uh look as uh good as possible and um being able to already start thinking for my own and being able to speak up for myself has been very helpful when it comes to being a gentleman it is so important to have someone that really challenges you to the core of who you are and, um, and wants to look at, do self-investigation on what's going on. I think so often it's, I want to look, um, I wanna be a more helpful person, but there's an obstacle that's blocking us to even be that more helpful person. And so, but we want to just so badly be that person that we just kind of fake our way to that mindset while and so we all end up doing all that in a sense of pride and arrogance and we're not doing the really deep down investigation that needs to be done. Uh, so I would say that Joel has helped me really start to see myself of what actual real healing needs to happen before I go ahead and jump onto those um, things that are very wonderfully ambitious, but need to definitely need, require more heart investigation. I think it would be wonderful to have a culture where people are willing to speak more, more honestly about their emotions. And uh, there's a joke that goes around and it's like, uh, men uh, talk about to not be so emotional and they act like anger's not an emotion. Um, and I just enjoy that joke because it does reveal that like, though we live in a culture that says that we should suppress our emotions, push them down, um, we very much have them and they come out in different ways besides sadness as well as anger. So um, being able to recognize those emotions and being able to call them out and name them out and have good communication with other people that says like, hey, this is how I'm feeling. This is what's going on in my mind. Um, that to me is something that would really help our modern culture of what it means to be a gentleman. Clothing helps because it helps give, I think it adds to a sense of my own brand of who I am and it's um, taking a part of my personality and it's pulling it out and putting it on the outside of my body. Um, and so you're trying to connect, relate to other people and clothing is that one way that you can uh, connect to those people. And so uh, whether that's gonna be, you know, dressing down to help someone show that I'm more relatable and I'm just like them. Or there's also the dressing up to show um, that, show the sense of um, that I know what I'm doing. So as a photographer, you know, and being younger, there can be a sense of needing to like stand for what you believe in. And so I do think there is a credibility that comes with nice clothing like a suit. 
uh, it is a beautiful thing when we can all have um, really heartfelt, honest conversations about what it means to be um, human. And uh, I think we live in a very uh, cool era that we can actually have these much better conversations, especially as men, um, to have these really down heart to heart conversations. I'm a gentleman because I have put the work into understanding my emotional health and I continue to put the work into understanding what it means to be a man and to live in this day and to better connect with other people.